This is your source for local news in the heartland. This is KTBO's Good Morning Heartland. And welcome back. It is 649. So with our new show, we want to be interactive as much as possible. Right. You know, have our viewers get something new out of it every day. So what better way than to have a science project our viewers and their kids can have. So we brought in Brian Dukes, the man that's going to show us something new every other week. That is correct, Ella. Are you excited? I am excited. Awesome. Well, we're going to start off here with a few ingredients just to let you know. We're going to need different types of milk. So like 2% okay. skim, fat, free, whatever. Okay. Plates, some right. Q-tips and then some food coloring, All right. and then some dish soap. Okay. Odd ingredients, we'll get to that in a minute, but a few <laughs> uh, basic science here. Did you know that everything is soluble in either water or oil? I did know that. You did? Good job, you remember things from high school. Actually, I just read your script oh. before we went on, so. Well, in, uh, in basic science, that is polar and non-polar right. molecular substances, and uh, that is going to be very important as we move through this experiment here. As you can see, we do have a molecule on the screen here in a second. And what's special about soap is that one end is polar, one is nonpolar, so it's bipolar, meaning one end's gonna be attracted to water and one's gonna be attracted to oil. Normally, most things are only attracted to one. Mm -hmm. So that's what's really gonna be cool about this. And what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna, I'm gonna have you put a little bit of food, food coloring in. Actually, I'll do it over here. Yeah, we'll okay. have you do this other one in a second. But basically, a few drops of food coloring. Uh -huh. And then, see that cup right beside you? There's some soap in there. Put, right. A little bit of that on the end of that q-tip there for me okay or like just dip it in there yes okay that'll and then, work fine and just hold that for one brief second here okay. and I'm i gonna, feel like i'm your vanna white I, you are and now what i'm going to do is just put this little drop here and watch what happens on this if dawson can zoom in real quick it'll be pretty cool here you see i'm just going to put a little dab here and it is going to completely explode if we can get a zoom in shot that would be absolutely amazing yeah okay so yeah you put that there and look at that Oh, it spreads apart. Yeah, it does. It's absolutely amazing. And that is because milk has a little bit of fat in it, and the soap is mixing with the water, and then the other ones are running around crazy trying to catch up with the fat molecules in the milk. Oh, okay. Which is really, really cool. And you're going to get different effects on different types of milk. So that was 2% we just did there. So now we're going to actually try this on skim milk. So if you want to dip another Q-tip in the soap there, okay. you're doing a great job, by the way. Thank I'll you very much. have to comment on that. And I'll let you do this one and you can see what happens. We'll see if there's any kind of different effects though. Kind of put that in the middle there and see what happens. That's, yeah, that should be nothing. Just dab it on there in the middle of the, so or not, yeah, right there. Look at that. Oh, that is so cool. This one kind of makes a little star. So if you right. use skim milk, kind of a star effect. Okay. And the coolest one yet is actually going to be this butterfat milk here, as you're going to see in a second. So go ahead and get some more soap on your Q-tip there. And this is the coolest one. You're about to see something amazing in about three seconds. And go ahead and put that in the middle once again and watch this. Okay, ready? Yes. Look at that. Look Ooh. how it's just like crystallizing. I was going to say, it kind of awesome? looks like snowflakes. Exactly. And if you can see that there on the zoom in, that is really awesome. And again, it has to do with the different amounts of fat in the different milks, like 2%, 1%. And you can use any kind of dairy product pretty much. And you can see the different outcomes that we've had here. Really cool. So really great hands-on experiment for your kids that you can do. I'm always about engaging kids in science and if it's hands on, it's even better. And something even cooler here, look at this. What is this? Elmer's glue. Uh -huh. It's white, so it's going to work, right? Well, right. not necessarily. And it doesn't have fat in it necessarily, but it is nonpolar, meaning it does have an end that is attracted to so or uh, fat and an end that is attracted to water. So, here, Ella, go ahead and put some food coloring in the center here, okay. and we'll see what really happens quickly. here. Yeah, that works. Okay. And what's really cool about this is we're going to do the same thing we've been doing with the other ones, but after it dries here, Okay. Let's put a little bit of soap in here and okay. see what happens. It's going to do the same effect, but after it dries, you can peel it off of the plate and you kind of have these little stained glass effects. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, hold on to that one right there. And uh, you can kind of hold on to this and your kids can have a memento of their experiment, which is really cool. And you know what's going on. So how awesome is that as we head into the new school year, kind of getting back in the groove of science and what is going on. And All right. That's there that. Look we'll, at that. And we'll post this on our website. We will. Heartland Directions and everything. Neighborhood tab. We do have a new GMH uh, tab at the top. That's right. Click on. All right.